Within the heart of Buenos Aires lies a fascinating region known as the Tigre Delta. A unique network of islands and waterways, the Tigre Delta holds rich history and offers an array of captivating experiences. Let us embark on a journey through time, delving into the past, discovering the hidden gems of the island, and exploring where to stay and what to do in this captivating region. The history of the Tigre Delta dates back centuries shaped by indigenous tribes, Spanish colonizers, and waves of immigration. We learn of the first inhabitants, the Guarani people, and their harmonious relationship with the lush landscape. The arrival of the Spanish in the 16th century introduced a new era, marked by economic prosperity, driven by timber and fruit production. As European settlers and immigrants flocked to the area, the Tigre Delta transformed into a vibrant cultural melting pot. However, it did not last. Attention swiftly shifted amongst the fickle Buenos Aires elite to expansion of luxury resorts on the Atlantic coast. The once grand colonial mansions and ornate riverside promenades fell into disrepair. Except for those working the land, the Tigre was all but abandoned. But all was not lost, and in the decades that followed, artists and musicians were enchanted by this rundown, watery world. This created a bohemian and somewhat eccentric vibe amongst the communities that settled here. And in recent years, with the assistance of a huge regeneration works by the tourism board, the beauty of Tigre Buenos Aires has been completely rediscovered. The Tigre Delta is a picturesque labyrinth of islands, canals, and rivers. Exploring the islands reveal a tapestry of charming communities and architectural marvels. One can marvel at the historic Tigre Club or visit the elegant homes nestled amidst lush vegetation. Boat ride through the Delta's intricate network of waterways reveal hidden channels, natural reserves, and serene landscapes that evoke a sense of tranquility and wonder.
as the gateway to a vast 300 kilometer network of rivers and wetlands that is the Tigre Delta, there are two very different sides of the Tigre to explore. Only accessible by boat, the islands are completely off grid with no main electricity or water supply. The laid-back, charming way of living in this part of Tigre, Buenos Aires is what draws tourists and porteños alike out of the well-loved big city vibe of the capital. For those seeking an immersive experience of the Tigre Delta, a range of accommodation options awaits. Quaint guest houses and boutique hotels dot the islands, offering a chance to wake up to breathtaking river views and embrace the region's serenity. Alternatively, one can opt for a stay in a traditional wooden house, providing a glimpse into the history and traditions of the area. The Tigre Delta offers a plethora of activities to indulge in. Probably the most popular thing to do in Tigre, Buenos Aires is to take a boat trip around some of the canals and islands. As soon as you near the water in the Estación Fluvial, you're likely to be approached by a boat tour operator. There are a few different kinds of options to choose from to explore Tigre's waterways, so it's good to have an idea of the kind of boat trip you'd prefer and get your haggle on. You have the larger catamarans that have a couple of decks. They tend to offer a full or half day excursions and have better views as you can sit up top. However, due to their size, they have to stick to the main channels of the Tigre Delta. You also have the smaller wooden boats that can access the narrower parts and take you deeper into the Tigre Delta. Some of these run guided tours, usually for about an hour. If you're after a more individual experience, you can hire a private boat to take you around the waterways. This is a good option if you prefer to have more input into your route and wish to take multiple stop-offs. Visitors can also embark on kayaking or canoeing adventures along the winding waterways, venturing deep into the heart of the Delta's hidden corners. Taking a guided boat tour provides a unique perspective, unveiling the Delta's wildlife and rich ecosystem. Many of the islands are inhabited, and you'll learn about the fascinating rural lives people live here. For instance, instead of a school bus, they have a school boat. And if you need to get to the shop, you don't jump in your car, you jump in your boat. Other islands are uninhabited, and are where you'll find more wildlife around particularly birds such as woodpeckers, hummingbirds. There are also capybaras, otters, and the campus cat. There were once larger cats wandering these parts too. 
In fact, the name Tigre originates from the Jaguarete or Jaguar. Sadly, these were hunted to near extinction, so the chances of bumping into one is very slim. For those seeking cultural experiences, the Museo de Arte Tigre showcases a diverse collection of art and a sculpture garden to explore, while Puerto de Frutos is a tourist hub with its artisan crafts and regional delicacies. Someone described it as a giant outdoor Etsy. Think countless wicker and wooden goods, souvenirs, and such. There are also a few food stalls selling fresh produce, as well as food trucks and a few restaurants. Right near Puerto de Frutos is Science Peña, a boulevard decorated with lots of colorful street art and a great place to see an alternative side to Tigre, Argentina. You can also opt for the Tigre Hop On Hop Off bus as a convenient way to get around. The included audio guide will help you learn more about Tigre's history, people, and culture. If you want more excitement, you can always check out Parque de la Costa Amusement Park, although it's probably better if you have kids, as it's not that exciting. No exploration of the Tigre Delta would be complete without savoring its culinary offerings. From traditional Argentinian barbecue to riverside seafood restaurants, the region's cuisine is a delightful blend of flavors. Indulge in local specialties like freshly caught river fish and mate, Argentina's beloved herbal tea. A visit to one of the Delta's charming cafes is a perfect way to unwind and soak in the region's relaxed atmosphere. Tigre Buenos Aires is best explored during summer months, but late spring and early autumn days are also pleasant. So you're looking at October to April for the best weather. Because the Tigre Delta is such a popular spot for weekend trips from Buenos Aires, it will be much quieter during the week. It's also best to avoid long bank holiday weekends. Easter weekend, for example, is packed. We're only in the Tigre on a day trip and wish we had the time to stay overnight on one of the islands. From camping to full-on luxury spa and wellness resorts, there are options for every travel style. Need more info? We've compiled a list in our blog linked in the description. So how do you get to Tigre from Buenos Aires? Being just 35 kilometers north of the city of Buenos Aires, you have quite a few options when it comes to how to get to Tigre from the city. The first option is to take the bus to Estacion Maipú. It's around a 45 minute journey depending on where you are in Buenos Aires. Then you need to hop onto the Tren de la Costa to take the train from Buenos Aires to Tigre. This is technically the tourist train 
and it's a 30 minute 10 stop ride to Tigre. If you have the time, there are some nice places to stop and visit, most notably Paranca Station, which has a large outdoor flea market by the train station, and also the San Isidro Station, which has a nice church and a more Palermo vibe to it. If you want to stop by the river, do so at Anchorena Station. This way, you'll get to appreciate real coastal views. Keep in mind that if you get off the train, you'll have to pay for a new ticket when you get back on. The cost for the Tren de la Costa as a foreigner using a Sube card is about one US dollar per person each way. There is a faster train option you can take from Buenos Aires to Tigre. That is the Mitre train line that departs from the Retiro train station in downtown Buenos Aires and passes through Belgrano C for those staying in Palermo. You'll need to get off at the last train stop, which also happens to be the Tigre station. The ride takes about 50 minutes with buses running every 10 to 20 minutes depending on the time and day of the week. You can also take a taxi or Uber to get to Tigre. I would not recommend the local direct bus unless you have a lot of time to spare. If you do, you can take the number 60 from Buenos Aires to Tigre. If you only have a couple of days in Buenos Aires, your time may be better spent in the city since there's so many incredible districts to explore. Nevertheless, a day trip to Tigre is a nice option for longer stays. As our journey through the history of the Tigre Delta comes to a close, we find ourselves captivated by its intricate past and enchanted by its natural beauty. Whether navigating its waterways, discovering its islands, or immersing oneself in its cultural experiences, the Tigre Delta in Buenos Aires offers a truly unique adventure. So pack your bags, embark on a voyage through time, and let the magic of Tigre Delta unfold before your eyes. Don't forget to subscribe for more adventures. Thank you.
Thank you.
Stay tuned for more adventures. <laughs>